In 1196, a famous battle took place at Clairdon, a few miles east of Thurso in Caithness, between Earl Harold, son of Margaret, Countess of Athol and the Earl of Orkney, and the grandson of Earl Ronald. They were distinguished by being called Harold the Elder, also known as Harold the Wicked, and Harold the Younger. Harold the Younger had inherited Caithness from his grandfather, but Harold the Wicked had violently taken possession of half of it. It was in order to retake what was rightfully his that Harold the Younger met his adversary at Clairdon. Most of his army was made up from local Caithness men, while Harold the Wicked had support from Norwegians as well as men from the Orkney Islands. Mert and Lefal fled the Caithness men. They were experienced and were known for their bravery. The battle lines were drawn, and when they met, the attack was furious from both sides. The Orcadian and Norwegian army outnumbered the Caithnesian one, but they found themselves on the brink of defeat. As the slaughter of the men took place, they were forced back to Merkel Bay, but it was a turning point. Mert and Lefolf were killed. Harold had already fallen some time earlier in the battle, and with no one to lead them, the Caithness men fell into confusion. They fled the field. Harold was buried near to where he fell, and a small temple or chapel was built on the spot where he died. Harold's tower was later erected by the local inhabitants in his memory. The author of the Book of Flotta said, The many miracles by which God was pleased to honour his remains certified to those then lived that he was a good man and a just cause. The original chapel fell into disrepair and crumbled. It was Sir John Sinclair of Alpster who erected the monument that now stands on the spot. Sometime after the battle, weapons such as spears were found in the peat moss and human bones were also found between Thurso and Merkel. Following his victory, Harold subdued the Caithness people and took the county as his own before returning to Orkney. When William I heard about this, he got a message to the Lord of the Isles, Rognvald, Regnald, who he asked for help to regain the county. With a party of troops, he arrived in Caithness and defeated the Norwegians, who were guardians for Harold the Wicked. He then placed it under the authority of its rightful sovereign. He appointed three governors to administer the civil affairs, then left to return home. Harold, meanwhile, had been biding his time and ordered the assassination of the governors. One was killed, and soon afterwards he arrived with troops near Thurso. The people of the town who supported the king feared for their lives and asked Bishop John to help them. He met Harold as he entered the town and pleaded for him to show mercy, but Harold just laughed at him. He ordered one of his attendants, Lombard, to seize him and cut out his tongue and put out both his eyes. He went on to hang the principal men of the town who didn't back him and, using his tyranny, subdued Caithness. Word reached the king and he sent troops to the county, but in the end only fined him heavily and reinstated him as Earl of Caithness. The Pope was not so lenient and wrote to the Bishop of Orkney, ordering him to do penance. Whether he did it or not is unknown. 
Harold died in 1206, aged 73. If you enjoyed this episode of Scotland's History, please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching.